All right, we're back. Had to sleep on it a little bit. This guy's been giving me trouble, um, which I'm actually kind of enjoying because I haven't really struggled with a boss battle in a minute. So I'm glad that there's still, you know, an uh, element of a challenge to this game. So I had to rethink my strategy and I'm going to kind of walk through it. Hopefully you guys can use this as a guide if you're struggling with this boss as well. Um, you know, first thing is we're going to switch out Golden Talisman. I think we're gonna go Flask of Crimson Tears buff. And then what I also want to equip here is a Rune Arc. Because I am just, I'm not using my Great Runes, which is a big problem. Um, Pulley Bow is going away. I'm gonna switch our primary to the Great Sword, and I'll show you why in a bit. Uh, it's my understanding that Stagger tends to be very effective against the two summons uh, with the Castle Soul boss. And we're going to want to focus on taking down those two summons first. Um, boy, I think there was one other thing I wanted to add here. Just can't for the life of me remember what it was. Uh, well, for the time being, we're going to go in with this. Uh, we are going to need the bow really quick. And I'll show you why in a second. Um, you know, just because it's a little bit annoying getting to the boss, but there's a pretty easy way to go about just taking care of that problem. Oh yeah, my guy's heavy as hell right now. So let's get rid of this. We'll equip the great sword when we get there. So first thing you want to do in this room is just take out this guy. The reason why you take out the guys hanging around is because if you kill them before they see you, then the other summons just won't pop up. Otherwise, you're going to have to deal with a bunch of knights. So now that that guy is gone, you'll notice that there's no summons around here. Make our way back to the boss room. And now this is where I'm going to switch my equipment once again. So... Like I was saying before, no need for the bow in this. We're gonna equip the great sword. I I got a pretty heavy equipment load right now, I'm not gonna lie, but you know that's alright. We'll make do with it. We wanna start with the great sword because it has stagger. And stagger is really good apparently at taking these guys down. So we'll see how effective it is. Give it a shot. Okay, we out. And my S key isn't working for some reason, so I couldn't ever back up. He was just going left to right, which was very annoying. Um, this keyboard has been giving me tons of problems. Let's see if I can blast that with some compressed air and take care of that, because that is just... This is not fun to deal with, man, I can tell you that. We're going to have to try this one more time with our hopefully repaired keyboard. Hopefully repaired. I'm not too confident about it, but we can always give it a shot. If I can get through that first phase and not have to waste too many of my flasks, I think we're on to something. I think we will be on to something. Where's my bow? Where is my bow? Give me my bow. All right. Let's try this again. All 
Alright, that's one down. Yep, come over to me. Come on. Need you to charge. Get over here. Punish. Ah, oh, that hurts. Back up, we'll heal. Alright, that's two down. That's good. We only used one flask. He almost got me there. I'm going back to Duel Luchi. Pop the rune arc. Just keep your head in a swivel. Make sure he doesn't like pull any nonsense on you because this is not going to be a fun fight. That whirlwind is a heavy hitter, man. Alright, we got him halfway, that was solid. Mimic Tear is doing a good, good job distracting him. Fucking hell. I'm out of Bloodhound Step. We're gonna reload on the Cerulean Tears Flask. All right, we got him close. I think we can make this work. Yep, make your jump, slam, follow up move, close space. Just gotta be patient, gotta be patient, we're close. Heal. We just need one more move, one more opening. We got him. Come on. Come on. That's it. There we go. Follow up move. That's it. We got him. Commander Nial. That was, that was a tough one. That took me probably a good dozen attempts to get him, but my god, man, that was a good fight. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what it takes. It's fairly extensive, but you know, if you can get his movement patterns down, which he really doesn't have too many attacks. Focus on taking down his summons in the order that I showed you. Uh, you want to use heavy weapons because stagger is super effective against them, and that should really be it. So, you know, if this guide was helpful, leave a comment below. Let me know if you want guides and other bosses, and in the meantime, more videos coming your way. Thanks for watching.